I want to discuss today a short clip I saw on Twitter of Ben Shapiro explaining why he thinks the Nazi party was a left-leaning party. So uh, let me show you the clip of him t discussing this, and then we'll come back and talk about why it's completely false. Daniel says, hi, Ben, longtime fan and supporter. Absolutely love your show. I have a question about why the Nazi party is usually referred to as the far right when the Nazi party stood for National Socialist Workers Party. The answer is difference between the United States and Europe. By American standards, the Nazis are our left-wing party because the right wing in the United States believes typically in a small, limited government relegated to performing specific functions. And that is very anti-Nazi. Right? I mean, the Nazi party was all about government interventionism in the economy and corporatism. The reason they are considered right is because in Europe, basically Germany had broken down between the Reds and the Browns. And so the only two choices that were on the ballot in, for example, the 1932 German elections were the Nazis, the brown shirts, and the Reds, the communists. And so if you were not communist, you were considered right wing because in comparison with the communists, everybody was right wing. So you had the Nazis attacking the communists and the communists attacking the Nazis. And that was the difference between right and left. So the Nazis in comparison to the communists were right wing because many of them were Christian. Many of them believed in higher standards of, of uh, higher sort of social standards. Like they, they kicked back against what they considered the degradation of culture. When I say many of them were Christians, I don't mean that the leadership of the Nazi party was Christian. It was not. Or that the leadership of the Nazi party treated Christianity well. It did not. What I mean is that in contravention of the pitch of communism, which was atheist in orientation, the Nazis were not, at the beginning, overtly anti-Christian in quite the same way. They quickly became overtly anti-Christian in a very different way. Okay, with that said, the Nazis were only right-wing by European standards. They were not right-wing by American standards under any stretch of the imagination. And to pretend that the Nazis were right-wing by American standards is to completely misunderstand American conservatism, which in Europe would be called classical liberalism. Now, I'm not sure if Ben just genuinely doesn't know what he's talking about here or whether he's just spreading misinformation in a way to score political and social points for his side. I'm a firm believer and we shouldn't ascribe malice where better explanation is ignorance. However, Ben is not dumb and in this instance, I have a hard time taking him as ignorant. Let's start with the fact that just because I label myself as one thing doesn't actually mean in reality I'm that label. Ben should know this as he rails on and on about trans people and labels. Here he is doing so. Because for all of human history, boy meant boy and girl meant girl. Boy did not mean girl. And if I call you a moose, are you suddenly a moose? Okay, if I redefine our terms. So there he is. If he calls her a moose, is she then a moose? Labels don't mean anything unless you actually have the qualities and char characteristics that define such label. So just because the Nazis used the word socialist as a label, it didn't actually make them socialist, just as the Pittsburgh Pirates aren't actual pirates. Hitler and the Nazis were master propagandists and demagogues. Hitler misconstrued words on purpose and with great effect. <clears throat> In fact, to such great effect, you still have stooges today being plagued by it. Hitler saw the collapsing German economy, and seized the opportunity to advocate for socialism couched in a nationalistic racist terminology. This was helped along by two leftists named Otto and Gregor Strasser. Hitler used these two brothers to help gain support of the German people. Shortly after Hitler grew in power, Otto realized the Nazis were neither socialist or for the working people, and ended up having to flee to Canada for fear for his own life, as Hitler killed his brother Gregor during the Night of the Long Knives. Hitler then, through the Enabling Act of 1933, purged all communists, socialists, democrats, Jews, and trade unions from German civil service. That doesn't sound like a socialist to me. Furthermore, under Nazi rule, there was still private ownership of property and private profits being made. The Nazi economy was a combination of capitalism along with a highly planned economy. So while yes, Ben is right, the Nazis were to the right of the red shirts, they would also be to the right of the current Democratic Party in America. They'd also be to the right of the current Republican Party in America. A party or movement being to the right or left is always relevant to your comparison. Then Ben states, the Nazis thought they were watching the degradation of culture. This should sound very familiar to any American who listens to many of the sentiments coming from the alt-right and Trumpism today in America. Ben also, support, ben also mentions small government being at the core of American conservatism. And while that may be true for moderate conservatives, 
It is not true of the more extreme right-wing conservatism, which I'll have you know has as much in common in the way of fascistically imposing on people. So we have to be equipped with the defenses to ward off such inaccuracies and falsehoods. Otherwise, we all go around parroting these falsehoods, and that is the true degradation of culture.